Hello there. My name is Dr. Carlo Oyer. I'm a board certified emergency physician and you are watching Dr. ER TV. In this video, we're going to talk about this tool or equipment used by doctors, PAs, nurses, paramedics, the stethoscope. Uh, we're going to start with some cool facts about the stethoscope and its history. Then we're going to talk about uh, a product review of a brand new stethoscope the, called the Stemoscope. And lastly, we're going to share a cool poem about the stethoscope and medicine. So if you're ready, let's get started. First, let's talk about the word stethoscope. It comes from the Greek word stethos and skopein. Stethos means chest and skopein means to look, to scope, to look or examine to examine someone's chest. And of course, the stethoscope is not just for the chest, but what's included in the chest, the heart and the lungs. And even though it was designed to listen to that specifically, nowadays it's used for many other things. You can listen to blood vessels, for bruits, or for um, signs of stenosis. Sometimes people have buzzing sounds and stuff. You can use it to auscultate the abdomen for bowel sounds. You can listen to auscultate uh, arteriovenous fistulas and other things. Here's another really cool fact about stethoscope. The longest stethoscope ever created was over a hundred feet long. Doctors use this long stethoscope to examine patients where there would be a distance between them so they wouldn't risk a contamination if the patient was in quarantine or something like that. And you can see how useful that would be today. Now nowadays they have disposable stethoscopes um, that you use them and you throw them away, but you still have to be in fair proximity to the patient in order to listen. And of course with the advent of telemedicine, nowadays with electric stethoscopes, you can listen to a patient hundreds of thousands, even across the world, because the signal goes electronically and then gets downloaded to the doctor's computer to listen later. Now let's learn some cool facts about the stethoscope. Well, the stethoscope was invented by a French physician named René Lenec in 1816. And initially, he had a piece of wood with a hole in the middle, and he would just put it to his ear and to the patient's chest. This was a mono-oral stethoscope, meaning it only had one earpiece, and you can hear. Now, before that, doctors would listen just by putting the ear in the patient's chest, and that's how they would listen. Then they would use this wooden device to just kind of put it there, and listen. Then, in the mid 19th century, they invented the binaural or two piece stethoscopes, and that was in the mid 19th century. Like we said before, initially, stethoscopes were invented to listen to the heart and lungs in the stethos, the chest area, but it can be used to listen to other parts of the body, such as the bowel or intestines, blood vessels for carotid bruits and sounds and even the fetus of a pregnant lady. As the technology of the stethoscopes developed, um, nowadays we have electronic stethoscopes. Some of them are all inclusive. There is just one piece of, of, of stethoscope that has a battery and amplifies the sound. Some of them have a device halfway in the middle that amplifies the sound and sends the electronic sound signal to your ears. Electronic stethoscopes were then designed in the late 20th century. The cool thing about electronic stethoscopes is one, they can have noise canceling effect to isolate the sound around you, which is a big problem, especially in emergency departments, paramedics, places that are really loud because you can't hardly hear. As we get older and we lose our ability to hear faint sounds, amplification of the sounds is a must if you want to listen to close details when you're auscultating a patient. So they have designed different kinds. Some are all inclusive, like the Littmann stethoscope, which has a battery inside of it, and it has all the electric equipment in the head, and then sends the amplified electric sound or signal to your ears. Some of them use the classic stethoscope, and basically they cut the, 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 the rubber of the hose, they put the electric device, who then turns that uh, sound into an electric signal, amplifies it, and then sends it up to your ears. And some have just uh, the head and sends it to uh, your phone as an app. And some of them, like we're going to talk today, do something really new and cool. My apologies, Dr. Stemo, or with the use of the iPad Pro wireless earphones, you can literally sync it directly to the ear pods and not even use your phone. 
So imagine this. Forget your stethoscope. You don't have it. Or you don't want to have it hanging from your neck. You need to examine the patient and you pull out your dandy little stethoscope, the stemoscope. As easy as turning it to the right on this lever, that goes to the app and then you can record what you're listening to, you can save it, you can share it through email, uh, through a text message or whatever. It's basically an audio file. Or you do it to the right and it syncs to the AirPods and immediately you can listen to the heart and lungs of the patient, whatever you're listening to, just like a stethoscope, to directly to the AirPods. Now the cool thing about it is, I don't know if you ever use some iPods Pro, I never had until I was ready to review this um, stethoscope. And once you put your AirPods in, they have an active noise canceling system. And it's so cool because the first time I put it in, I thought I went deaf. I'm like, what's wrong with this? Even when I didn't have any music playing, it was just so quiet, I didn't hear anything. So there, there are active noise reduction, which in the emergency department, in an ambulance, in somewhere there's a lot of noise, in a triage area with a um, waiting room full of people, you can listen and have that noise reduction. Not only that, but it provides amplification of the noise. So the noise um, that it captures and then transmits gets amplified and gets louder. So you can hear things much, much better. So once you have your iPods into your ears, you put it on Perry mode and you have your um, stethoscopes nice and charged and ready to go, then you turn to the right if you want the signal to go to your Dr. Stemo app and you can save the recording and you can hear it through the phone. So you're gonna search at the App Store for Dr. Stemo, and then you're gonna download the application. There it is, Dr. Stemo. Click Get and Download. So the app is gonna download, of course, and I gotta find it. I'll download real quick. And then you're gonna set up your registration like any other app. You can do it as a healthcare provider or as, or as a patient, potentially. You wanna save your own heart sounds, your own breath sounds or whatever. So obviously the company is targeting both healthcare professionals and the uh, end user. You're gonna scan the code on your stethoscope so that it uh, can find it. And once it finds it, then you use the Bluetooth, it connects, you pull your AirPods out, you switch the lever so that it's on pairing mode to the AirPods versus connecting to the app, and you put it to your chest and you're ready to go. And that's it. I mean, so so you can do that with a regular stethoscope. I get it. And 80, 90% of the time, you're gonna use your regular stethoscope. But in the chance that, especially with COVID, telemedicine and things like that, what if the patient's in quarantine? Yeah, sure, you can wear a mask, you can go in the room. What if there's another deadly virus, a hand tie or something else? Anyway, there's a lot of issues. You take a little bag, drop in your stethoscope in, you seal it or whatever, and you can still get in, listen to the patient. The back can be removed, tossed away, protects the stethoscope from carrying uh, the sickness to another patient or something like that. Because honestly, that's what we're doing in the beginning stages of the uh, COVID. We would have disposable stethoscope, and you said one time throw them away, then we like, okay, we'll clean them up and whatnot. But with this device, you could do that and not have any cables. The other thing is, you don't have to be right on top of the patient. The patient's coughing, the patient's short of breath. There's fumes from the respiratory treatment going around. And with this thing, you can literally reach and put it down. Or you can have somebody else put it on the patient's chest. 
or if the patient is across the world and you still need to do an examination. Now, this will be especially good for cardiologists because they, they need specific sounds for teaching doctors because now you can record sounds and share them and, and show, uh, show them exactly what you're listening to, like murmurs, and bruits, etc. So, um, this um, stemoscope was a gift from the company. Um, they did not ask me to say anything specific about it, just to give it a review. Uh, they did not censor or they did not sponsor the video in any way. So these opinions are just facts about what it is, what it does. And do I like it? Yes, uh, because it actually does amplify the sound a lot. Uh, it actually reduces the noise on the ambient. It's a special thing that you keep around for special occasions when there's a lot of noise, when the patient is on quarantine and you might need to uh, no, not have the stethoscope touch the patient's chest. And especially for telemedicine coming up, this is gonna be a great tool as the stethoscope becomes more um, affordable and available to people and people might have this around in their homes and they can literally put it on their chest listen to breath sounds, listen to heart sounds, and doctors across the world will be able to examine the patient. So this is so cool. And uh, the cool thing about it is that this piece of equipment, this stethoscope, has progressed from a wooden device to a plastic device with tubing, tubing that were 100 feet long, to now just a little tiny head that's electronic, that amplifies the sound for you and records it and it's just actually quite a beautiful thing. So check it out on yourself, make your own judgments and opinion. For those who, of you who are still watching this video, if you share this video and you send me a, a message, a comment on the video, uh, at, once I get above a thousand views, uh, or, let's do this, once I get over a thousand comments, I'm gonna randomly select one of those people who shared and comment on this video, and I'm gonna give away this demoscope to them. So please, share this video, have other people watch it, have other people comment on it, and one of you might be the new owner of the stemoscope. In the hands of a healer, the stethoscope becomes a bridge between the hidden world within and the patient's every rich. It listens to the heart's rhythm, a steady drumbeat of life, and the lungs' symphony of breath as they expand and take flight. The stethoscope bears witness to the whispers of the veins as they flow with purpose and power, a network of life mainstays. It's a symbol of care we give, a tool to help us know, and through its every listening, a touch of kindness we can show for the stethoscope is more than just a simple piece of gear. It's a connector, a comfort, a tool to help us hear. So may we use it with great care, with a heart that's ever true. For the stethoscope can bring healing, and that's a gift we all purpose. Thank you for watching this video and the review of the electronic stethoscope. I hope you do check it out. Make sure you comment and share this video. You could be the winner of this cool gadget. Again, wireless, noise canceling, Bluetooth to directly to your AirPods Pro. And if you're into gadgets, if you're into the cool factor, I mean, no more carrying that thing around, bumping around, you're running to a code. All right, that is pretty darn cool.